that problem. Here's another bag. Bastard bags. <laughs> So anyway, yep, I would suggest guys, don't do a tiny house until you have land that you own, not rent, that you own, and then do everything you want, even though the government will probably say bullshit. Keep it down low, keep it still, don't, they won't know anything, as long as you pay your taxes. And don't get complaints from the neighbors. You should be fine. So I think that's the best way to do it. All right. Now let's hook up the solar. What do you guys think? Turn the, uh, I gotta spin the camera around guys, I'm sure you guys love me when I do that. You can get nice and sick on watching the video. So, there is the window and aluminum tape. Now I'm going to close this down a bit so I can fit put the Primos thing back up. I wet the um, little suction cups to help it stick a little better. Okay. And now the window is holding the panel up there as far as I know. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Here, I might have to turn it this way. That's better. Okay, so we'll take some aluminum tape and this should solve this issue. It'll it'll hold this bastard up. I know Pierre mentioned Velcro. Um, that would have worked as well. But, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. That's not going anywhere. And then I'll put one, actually it looks better than the other stuff too. I'll make a longer piece that runs down the, the length. Um, here's a trick guys when you use this stuff. I use it all the time take your fingernail Rip a rip a bit and it spreads it from the tape And let's see if this is too long uh, I'll just go above it I'll shorten it up Voila now we're going to have some decent solar panel to charge that light. Awesome. That'll probably stay there permanently anyway. So that's what it looks like, guys. It's uh, got an L-shape aluminum tape. So it's held by the top and the side. I'm not going to do anywhere else. And then Primo's gadgets in there as well charging. So perfect. And I got it plugged back in, 
to the light. Here's the light. And the window can stay open about, what is that, three inches. So that's still not bad. I'm going to put the watch, actually, let's see. Did I put the watch outside? Uh, yeah, what the hell. I think they can get, the watch can get wet a little bit. Anyway, see it there? Solar watch. So, yeah. That'll work. Good, good, good. So that's taken care of. Um, what else do I got to show you? Here, let me screw this thing back on. Here's all the junk I got, guys. All this is going out, trash. Um, big panda box is trash too, but I wonder if I should just throw everything in there. Actually, yeah, I will. So here's the panda. I'm going to throw all that trash in there. And then get rid of it eventually. solve a lot. Perfect. Awesome. So, yeah, tiny house is looking good. I'll put some gear back. Here, I'll put a whole bunch of stuff in the pantry. watch me do that <laughs> probably not I wouldn't grab me some paper towels and we'll see what the hell is going on here over in the window sill so, see all these dead flies and gross I think the flies are trying to get warm in the winter time because I always saw them but it could be they're trying to get to the composting toilet as well. So hard to say. Hard to say. I'll grab some paper towels and grab that stuff. Anybody want some protein? Survival situation. I don't know if you'd want to eat something that old though that's been dead that long. You want them fresh. <laughs> and even then it'll be pretty gross. I gotta get some more paper towels. Yeah, it was uh, super hot uh, yesterday, guys. But um, we never got the storms they were predicting. Wonderful weathermen. Well, here comes the train. Clean it up as best as I can, anyway. 
There's a dead fly stuck in the corner. Gross. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. about that just annoying so this guy sits in there and the, as the wind blows it kind of does an S pattern the way I designed the tiny house so we got a window here and as the wind comes in it has to travel down the length until it hits the other way or vice versa it'll hit that one and come out this way so it's blowing the fragments around and I noticed the difference actually um, but definitely still dark in here I gotta put a friggin window in I gotta look for one next that'll be the next project and then I'll have to put a drop sheet down on the kitchen counter so I don't wreck anything oh fun 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 I'll have to do everything from the outside um, I'll probably drill from inside out though, pilot bits, and then I'll drop, move a bunch of stuff, put the drop cloth, and then um, put that a bigger window in up here. Better airflow too, better better ventilation. So that's kind of important. And yeah, so. That's all that's going on here, guys, today. Um, can't do much other than that. This battery is almost dead anyway, but the tiny house stays pretty cool. I was very surprised, but then again, I did insulate it pretty well. Even though the winter time was a pain in the ass because of the... Well, the thing is, in the winter time... If you guys remember my test, I was in a blizzard, so it was abnormally windy and colder, and uh, the fireplace cut out because the battery, uh, that battery pack, didn't have enough juice. But when I switch, when I pull the motor out of that fireplace, which I say I'm going to do once I get those little USB fans to replace it, which the Dollarama does not have yet. I'm going to pull this bastard, bastard's fan out because it draws 50 watts, guys, and it hardly blows the air. My little USB fans blow more air than that thing, which is kind of stupid. And they'll be running on USB power, which isn't even 120 volts. They use 3 watts. They don't even register how many amps they draw. So if I put 3 or 4 in here... Um, we got six, seven, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it'll be 12, 12 watts, and maybe between, if I combine all of them, maybe a 0 0.1 amp 
draw. And that I can run continuous in the winter time. I'll just leave the fans on. Not on a switch or anything crazy. They'll just be on. They'll be taking the heat. They'll be blowing the heat actually early because this motor only comes, the fan only comes on when it hits a certain temperature. But if I rig it properly, as soon as I light this, the fans will be already going and continuously and blowing that warm air instantly. The only downer is when the fireplace starts to cool down, it'll start blowing cooler air. However, the thermostat on the remote will keep that from happening because it'll keep the house at a constant temperature of whatever I set that at. So, I think it's going to work really well and I won't be using very much juice to run this in the winter time, which is the key thing. It'll make this thing way more efficient than what it is because like you can run it without power, but you basically have to s sleep right beside it like right here. And who wants to do that? <laughs> Unless you really had to. But whatever. I made it through the night, luckily, with that little light bulb trick that Stu told me about. But, uh, yeah. Oh, man. And then I'm going to be getting paid soon, so we're going to figure out what the hell my accountant is going to be doing here with these boxes. Oh, another dead fly. Wonderful. Row so it's falling apart in my hand. All right, hold on. There we go. Grossness. Dead fly. Um, yeah. So, oh, is there more dead flies in this one? Yes, there is. That's stupid. What a, I gotta name this video, uh, what, Flycatcher, or Cleaning the Dead Flies Out of the Tiny House. <laughs> oh, sick. Gnarly, gnarly, gnarly. Okay. Oh man. Always dealing with crap. Yeah, so basically I'm pretty fed up with all the rules and regulations, guys. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and um, uh, either put the roof on, start catching rainwater, or whatever oh that reminds me rainwater see the tanks I'm gonna take this ladder right now take the first flush kit and I up uh, I up exactly how I need to do this this thing basically here uh, I will have to adjust the ladder to do this Here is my first flush rain diverter. Notice the hole on the bottom for the ball. I'm going to hold this up. Well, let me move the camera closer. I may have to spin you around. Oh, maybe not. You'll, you'll be able to see me. So my